Good morning traders. So we're still using the Bill Williams theory and uh, looking at the Aussie, the South African top 40. Now again, this is just uh, so typical of what goes on during the holiday period. You can see the last week um, has been, well sorry not week, last month, that was last month which has been really all over the place and uh, the start of this month has not been much different. Okay. So we did get a, a red bar, we then tried to rally back up and we've got a pin bar here. Now this could be seen as a potential reversal pattern, okay, it is possible, but um, there's nothing concrete here and uh, I still maintain being the holiday season, it's going to be all over the place and, and really not logical that uh, I prefer to stay out of it. So if I just look at our good old friend Tencent um, this morning, Tencent is up 0.75%. Okay, and the Rand dollar 14.27, so that's down from yesterday. Nothing much um, else in there. The only other thing from yesterday is that uh, the Nasdaq was down 3.3% last night. So I would strongly suspect that. Um, we are going to gap down. Okay, so let's just get to the four hour. And uh, if we just pay attention to the alligator, you can see you know, we sort of gap down, rallied hard, and pulled back hard. And when I say rallied hard, I mean we're talking about what 600 odd points up and probably 500 points down. Yeah, so 600 up, 500 down. Absolutely insane. Um, so yeah, so I think for me it's still sit on my hands. Uh, one thing that is concerning is that this level here has been broken. It broke there, we gap below it, we had a close, 4 hour close below this level before railing back up into it and then coming back to test it. So this level here is fairly significant um, by the looks of things. If I just look to the left, you see what I mean? Lots of tails on this area. So this is the one I'll be watching. So this is 45655. 45655. That is the level that I am watching. So if we get to the four hour, sorry, the one hour, you can see we broke down. We sort of consolidated and remember what I said yesterday that that level there uh, together with the bottom here was our range and you can see how we stepped up out the range and now we're back in the range now normally what would be happening is I'd be looking for a long because we've broken the range to the upside okay so that would be my normal um, trade I'd be looking for a, a decent setup which is pretty much where we are now looking for a long that may still play out but I'm not uh, I'm not convinced not during the holiday season that we have at the moment so I'm kind of expecting a gap down and probably a break below both of these levels to pick up something to the left and then um, yeah and then we'll see we'll see where it goes from there. But I mean bear in mind you've got non-farm payrolls today as well. So there's gonna be a lot more volatility to it. And so your low volumes are just gonna add fuel to the fire, so to speak, and the fire is pretty much uh, going in all directions right now. So yeah, my advice is still sit on hands with this. Um, it's potentially a little bit more of a Set up on the Dow, although the Dow and the DAX is also looking a little bit shaky, and that's purely because of the data that's coming out this afternoon. So people are sitting on their hands and aren't going to commit to any trades until that data is out. Okay, so two trades that you can look for here is you can. Uh, so there's two things. So the first one is we can say that let's just get rid of that level there. So we can say that this has broken out the range, this was the range, so we've broken the range to the upside and we're now back in the range. Okay, so that's the one thing to do and that we are now expecting 
um, a base to be formed and then a rally okay my view however is pretty different at this stage um, my view is as follows this is the flag this is the downward move this is the flag a break below this is going to give us a measured move of this level here okay so in other words I am looking for a short and what I'm expecting to happen is a gap down then I want to see a bit of a rally back to test the break at which point I will look at a short okay so that's kind of my view on this I don't know if it's going to happen today we probably will get the the gap down today but the rally may only happen um, may happen today or it may only happen next week back to this level before getting onto this target now the thing about this is it is a 2000 point target okay so that's why I'm looking at it uh, fair, looking pretty interesting to me okay um, and then the last thing is if you look at the the bull Williams on the hour you can see we're back we've tested it so we broke below it sideways we've tested and we're now moving to the downside so I am looking for shorts on this um, the problem is you're probably going to have a massive gap down at the open and this point is chasing that gap so you should already be short and holding short okay so that's kind of my view for this today so any rally back to test that break will get me short okay so i hope that helps guys and uh if you are trading us today, just keep those stops really tight because um, you can expect a lot of volatility this afternoon. Anyway, guys, um, that's it for me. Hope it helps. Catch up with you later. Cheers for now.